Hello guys, today I want to show you one eloquent relationships trick and possible error that you're doing and one thing how two symbols in the code, two changed symbols may massively improve your performance. And I've recreated a demo project based on one of the private code reviews I did in last month. So imagine a big e-shop with a lot of products, with a lot of orders and a lot of stock. And on the homepage, you want to show the most popular products, which means the products with most orders. And for each of those products, you want to show left in stock number. So calculate on the fly how many items are in stock minus amount of quantities ordered. And imagine all of that in a huge database with thousands of products and hundreds of thousands of orders. And I tried to simulate that situation and I will show you how it can be massively improved in terms of performance. So first, the scenario and what is exactly the performance problem. So we have products, 1000 products in the database table. This is a simple table. Then you have stocks for each of the product. Some products are in separate locations and there are 160,000 rows in my case in this database. So each product is in various locations all over the country or all over the world. Next, we have orders. Each order in reality have many more columns like customer details, delivered or not, address, price and all of that, but for simplicity it's just fake customer. And then order items. This is most interesting thing. So every order has items, which is product ID, quantity and status. And it has 80,000 rows in the table. Now on the home page, in the code, in the dashboard blade we have for each of the products and we want to show product, name, description, left in stock, this is the one we will be talking about, and price. And in the controller, we get those products just by doing products. Actually, let me reformat that a bit. So we take three products ordered by quantity of order items, the relationship, and that with some actually appeared in Laravel 8.29, I think. I have a separate video on with some. I will link that in the description below. And this query is okay, it's optimized. Now let's take a look at the dashboard and left in stock. Left in stock is an attribute for the product in Eloquent. So get left in stock attribute is Eloquent accessor, which calculates the count of the stocks minus order items where status equals two means delivered, for example, and sum of the quantity. And it works, it shows the results. So if we refresh, we have three products, but it's not a coincidence that I've installed Laravel debug bar on this project. So down below, you can see some numbers and that page is loaded in 1.15 seconds, which is not huge, but still for such a simple dashboard without any other data, one second, it's too much. And you would probably take a look at the queries here, eight queries, which is not a lot. So what is slowing down? There are a few repetitive queries. So, okay, that attribute has query to the stocks and query to order items. So six queries, which is also not a lot. So what is the problem here? The problem lies in two numbers here in Laravel debug bar. 59 megabytes of memory usage and 52,000 models. If we go here, we see that we are loading 17,000 order items and 34,000 stock items. So this is the amount of records fetched from the database for that query that we're loading. And this is too much. So imagine 70,000 rows and those rows should be stored somewhere in the memory processed and then delivered to you. Same here, 34,000. Why it's so many? We don't really load those order items on stocks. Or do we? Let's take a look at that accessor again. So we're loading only the count, right? And we're loading only where and sum. It should be not loaded, the full table. And here's where I get to those two symbols that I've mentioned in the beginning of this video. If you call the relationship, so has many relationship with this, it loads the result of the relationship. So this stocks count is different from this stocks count. And similarly, this order items get all the items and only performs where afterwards. If we load this, then it performs the query and only then returns the result. Now let's refresh our page. Remember 52,000, 59 megabytes and one second. Refresh four models, five megabytes and 0.2 of a second. See the difference? And I want to reiterate and explain why is it so. So this stocks goes to the method of this stocks and it returns the relationship. It doesn't return the data from the database. It returns the relationship, which is under the hood, a query builder. And then that query builder is continued with whatever happens afterwards, which is count. And only then it returns the result from the database. Same here, order items is the relationship 
query builder and that query builder is continued with where sum or whatever operations you have and only then returns the data if you do this stocks like this it's the same equivalent as this stocks get and then count so you're basically getting all the data and then performing the operation and this is by the way a pretty typical error in general in the code in performance issues especially in the junior developers code i often see something like users user all and then where something sorry where where condition so basically load all the data from the database and then perform the calculation in laravel which is wrong and if you use a database please use the database with all the conditions and take the query from the database and make the database work with all the filtering ordering and all of that and laravel should take care only of the result so this is a simple performance tip for you, but could be massive if you have big shop or big project. And actually you see those performance issues typically only when the project is launched, when you have a lot of data and then you notice something slower. So I hope this tip clarifies what to do in this case, at least in one simple situation. If you want more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of new videos and also support the channel financially by checking out one of the three products that you'd see on the screen. One of those products is my Laravel courses on Teachable. One of the courses is about Eloquent actually, called Eloquent Expert Level. Currently I'm in process of starting 17th course and I will talk about that in a bit in a week on this channel. So stay tuned and see you guys in other videos.